I'm Amanda and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we're going to be getting steamy in the kitchen making butternut squash and sage risotto. Risotto is a great way to get the chill out of the fall air and best of all, it's going to keep us budget friendly. in front of me. We've got our butter and olive oil as our prime, a little bit of vino which makes everything taste a little bit better. We've got our onion butternut squash, of course our arboreal rice which is an Italian thick rice but it's a short grain, and our chicken stock and then salt, pepper, and the pièce de résistance for this dish is going to be a final layer of parmesan and freshly chopped sage. Step one is going to be heating up our chicken stock. We need it to be nice and heated so that the risotto stays the same temperature and it cooks at an even time. Step two, to use our time more effectively, is chopping up our onion into about a fine chop and then peeling and dicing up our butternut squash into about a one inch chop. Perfect. Now we're going to get moved over to our stove, start heating up our butter and our olive oil, and then we're going to start sauteing our onion and getting our rich and creamy risotto on your way. So next step is making sure that we have our oil and our butter heated to a low to medium temperature. We want to start sautéing and slowly cooking things, but this is not about speed, so be prepared for a good 30 minutes at the stove. Our butter and olive oil have melted together and they're nice and warm, so we are now going to be adding our onion that we sliced up before, just a nice fine dice. And we are going to be sautéing that for about five to eight minutes. You don't want to brown it, you just want it to be nice, soft, and translucent, and that's going to give our risotto a nice sweetness. Now that the onion's nice and translucent, which means a little bit see-through and it's nicely softened, we are going to be adding our arborio rice. The secret to a great risotto, or any risotto that will be palatable, is toasting the arborio. It takes about two minutes of stirring and you're going to hear a light crackling sound. And that is going to be enough for about four people once it's all cooked. You have to remember, like any rice, it's going to expand a lot when you're adding your liquid. So wine is going to be our next addition. That is a beautiful treat with risotto, is that you get to treat yourself to a bottle of wine. What you need is about a quarter of a cup per cup of Arborio. Okay, so now that we have our wine in our pot, we're going to start stirring. The stirring is not going to stop till this rice is done, so make sure that you either have a buddy to help you out or you have 30 minutes on your hands. The wine's all absorbed. We've got the nice crackling sound of the arborio still going on. What we're gonna do now is add the butternut squash that we've chopped, and we're gonna add two ladles of our hot broth, which we have getting ready next to us. So the way to tell when you're ready to add your next addition of liquid is just to drag your spoon across the bottom of the pot. If it leaves a clean trail, then you know you're good to go and keep adding the ladles of broth until the rice is nice and al dente. So while our risotto is getting its last ladle of liquid and just finishing up getting to that perfect al dente, we're going to use our time to chop up our sage and to grate up our parmesan cheese. So all we need to do is lie all of our sage leaves in together, grab them, we're going to roll them together, and then we just want to make a nice chiffonade, which really just means that you're doing nice little strips. All we need to do is finally grate up our parmesan and then that's going to be the last addition to our perfect rich and creamy risotto. We've just done our last addition of liquid and while this is absorbing we're going to add our sage so that all the essential oils from the sage when it hits the heat is going to get absorbed by our arborio and we're going to have a yummy, sweet and savory risotto ready in just a couple minutes. Perfect. So our risotto is all done. I'm ready to take the chill off this cold fall day. We've got cheese in here, butternut squash, some savoriness from our sage, and I am dying to try it. So I'm going to go for a nice big bite here. Mmm. It's rich, it's creamy, you've got the sweetness from the butternut squash, but that nice savory kick from the Parmesan cheese and the sage. Ugh. I just can't wait to finish this up, so I'm going to get to that, and thanks very much for watching The Hot Plate, and make sure to check out all of our other episodes at tvmcgill.com.